Yeah. I want to ask you, kind of, you know, taking off from where Feynman said uh, the most, the most, um, most important information-filled statement in the fewest words is the so-called atomic hypothesis. I want to ask you if you could update Feynman or give your own spin on Feynman. Um, what kind of magical statement could we use to brag about? what physicist or humanity has learned. It could be human. It could be something not related to your job, but what contains the most information that human beings should rightfully put into a billion year long time capsule and let aliens uh, know how proud we were of it some billion years hence? Well, okay. So we haven't yet done it, <laughs> but I think um, I honestly feel that reconciling quantum mechanics with gravity will will be that something. The reason why it, it's so interesting, and it actually relates to particles going backwards in time, because particles, what are particles after all? We think they are what we call world lines. You know, A world line tells you where a particle is in space and time. But if you think you take the big picture and just look at kind of all of space and all of time, what's a particle? Well, it's just a curve in space time. And that immediately is telling you that geometry is somehow gets reconciled with quantum mechanics. So quantum mechanics is making things spread everywhere, explore everything. That's all these phases I was talking about. You know, the quantum mechanics is incredibly exploratory and indefinite. Geometry is the opposite. It's extremely definite. Uh, I know exactly where the particle is at every moment of time. So these are opposites. And when we try to link gravity to quantum mechanics, we've got to understand how are these things reconciled? Uh, I think they can be. It's extraordinarily difficult. When it is, we will truly be sort of uniting opposites. Quantum mechanics, wow. there's the uncertainty principle. So if you say where something is now or what geometry does the universe have now, inevitably there's something you know nothing about, which is in the case of the universe, the, how fast is it expanding? You know, if I know exactly what the geometry is now, then I cannot know anything about how fast it's expanding, according to quantum mechanics. So the only way to know anything is you say, well, I know approximately this and approximately that. Um, so you can see there's a huge tension between even the notion of geometry and uh, the notion of quant and the uncertainty principle in quantum mechanics. So that I think is, we've got so many clues. You see, this is not pie in the sky. We know how particles work. We know what they do in colliders. We know quantum field theory works to very high precision. Oh, yeah. What we don't yet hear, have is a sort of geometrical picture of exactly what the particles are doing and what that even means during one of these processes. And if we gain such a understanding, mathematical understanding, precise understanding, we're going to have to do the same thing for the universe and our place in the universe. So yeah, even though quantum gravity may sound a, a very arcane and um, you know just the kind of last uh, dot of the eye in theoretical physics, it isn't. It's much more than that. It's actually understanding the whole thing. It's reconciling these two opposites, and that makes it you know very very challenging. But I think if we do succeed in reconciling these opposites, you know, that will be the crowning achievement of, of, of physics. Wow.